What's up guys, Ando here today bringing you guys another video. It's kind of similar to what I'm used to doing, but it's not a creepy pasta. Instead, it's going to be a cartoon episode review. I asked on the community tab the other day whether people wanted to see this, and I got a majority of votes of yes. So we're going to go ahead and start off doing this and see how it goes. The first show we are going to be doing this on is King of the Hill. It's one of my favorite shows from back when I was a little kid, and I still love this show to this day. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and review the first episode called The Pilot. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. It starts off good with Hank, Dale, Boomhauer, and Bill all working on Hank's truck with Dale making jokes about Ford. But he used a Fiat abbreviation instead. A very good introduction to the main character and his friends. Shortly after that, you are in a scene with Hank walking into Bobby's room thinking he is listening to music. He asks Bobby to listen to it and finds out he is listening to comedy. And that's when Hank's catchphrase comes with, That boy ain't right. We are introduced to Luann, Hank's niece, right after the previous scene with Hank walking in on her in the bathroom exclaiming, Luann, I thought you went home. She didn't go home because her mom and dad was fighting. And the next scene, we are introduced to everyone's least favorite character, Hank's wife, Peggy. On the way to Bobby's baseball game, where they are talking about how much effort he should put in the game. During the game, Hank made Bobby swing in baseball, telling him to not play lawyer ball. Afterwards, Bobby got a hit and made first base and was looking at Hank. While staring at Hank, Hank was yelling, keep your eye on the ball and Bobby got hit in the face with the baseball because he was not keeping his eye on the ball, which caused him to have a black eye. Well, in the next scene, Hank goes to the store trying to buy a tap and die to fix his truck where the worker doesn't understand what he wants. He doesn't know what a tap and die is. Hank shows his anger, which causes his town to make a rumor that he abuses his child due to the fact that Bobby having a black eye, and the anger that Hank shows publicly toward the employee at the store. And the next scene, Dale shows he is a conspiracy theorist, talking about how global warming is government-made and controlled. While Hank is listening, he hears thumping and asks, where is it coming from? It cuts to a scene where Bobby is throwing a ball on the wall and Peggy yells at him, and as Bobby's throwing the ball, he accidentally hits Peggy in the head with the ball. In the next scene, he continues working on his truck after the thumping stopped because Bobby hit Peggy. During this, a social worker shows up to check on everything, and Bobby continues to bounce the ball on the wall. During this, him and Dale are still working on his truck when Dale gets distracted and the hood falls on Hank. In anger, Hank comes inside and throws the ball at the door, barely missing the social worker. So already, they are starting off on the wrong foot. Hank rips the social worker, telling him he won't take Bobby and threatens to kick his ass. The social worker runs off, comes back, and talks to his neighbors later in the day about Hank and what kind of father he is and what he does to his child, Bobby. The social worker later hears Bobby and his friend Joseph, who is Dale's son, mocking Hank and mistakes it as Hank talking to Bobby and claims he was right about Hank abusing his child. The social worker comes back later trying to take Bobby and Hank offers Luann as a joke. The worker asks if Bobby wanted to go and Bobby denies to where he thinks that Bobby is claiming he doesn't want to go because Bobby was scared of Hank. Then, after this, Hank chases him out of his house with his dog, Ladybird, punching the worker's car, putting a dent into it. The next scene, we find out the social worker was wrong in his investigation because he didn't do enough research and the CPS stops the investigation on Hank. In the next scene after that, Bobby is messing with a stop sign where Hank gets mad and Bobby uses the fact of the social worker against him saying he can't yell or the worker will come and take him away. Right after they get, right after this, they get a call that Bobby answers where he is told the investigation is canceled, but he never tells anyone. Bobby then continues to do bad things under the guise that the investigation is still going. Peggy later comes and lets Bobby know a CPS guy came and told her the investigation was canceled. 
where Bobby tells her he only didn't tell them because he thinks Hank does not love him all the time. In the next scene, Peggy goes into the bedroom and tells Hank he needs to tell Bobby he loves him, which Hank reluctantly goes and tries to tell Bobby that he does. He goes outside, beating around the bush, trying to tell Bobby he loves him at the end. He hurried through saying it, then assures Bobby he is not a disappointment and that he is proud of Bobby. So, my thoughts on this episode. I think this episode opened perfectly, introducing us to the main characters and his friends, which are the side characters and family, which is also... Kind of like main characters, but kind of like side characters. Focusing more on the background of the family, their personalities, how they are toward each other. And also focusing on the background of Hank, like how his attitude is. And also kind of giving us a backdrop of how the town is. With like the starting the rumors that Hank's abusing his kid because people just didn't want to do like, you know the right thing and ask him whether he was doing it or ask Bobby or the family. They just wanted to start a rumor. Um, I think it had a good narrative and was very good at telling the story of the CPS guy trying to come and take Bobby over rumors the town had made up. So basically because the town had made up rumors, somebody contacted CPS and they came and tried to take Bobby from Hank. And I like how the show wrapped it up. I like how the show wrapped it all up with Bobby not being taken, Hank telling Bobby he loves him and assuring him he's not a disappointment. It's just a real feels good story, man. And I think it portrayed Hank as a man who loves his son. He just doesn't agree with things that he does or things that Bobby likes, which is okay, I guess. We'll talk about that later in the series because I've seen this a lot. I know I know how it goes. He is in a different generation than Bobby, so he doesn't understand the newer things that Bobby does understand. And that's where they don't get along, and that's basically what this whole show is based around. A a father trying to make a good relationship with his son. It's a pretty good show. I like it. I like that in the end, it turns out that Hank is right and the CPS worker was in the wrong. And for that, the CPS worker had got sent back to LA and it solves the plot of the episode very well, giving it a very good ending, wrapping up the show as it should. So, with all that said, my thoughts on this episode, I would give this episode a 8 out of 10. I really, really enjoyed it, but there are later episodes that make this episode not a 10 out of 10. You'll see what I mean later in the reviews if you guys if you guys like these reviews and decide you guys want me to keep making these videos. But with that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave a comment in the comment section down below telling me you made it to the end of the video and telling me whether you guys like these type videos or not. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. This has been Andal and peace out.